Quite often I get to thinking how as kids we got by. Like at Christmas time at our house, we couldn't even afford a fire. But we made do with what we had back then when I was young. Dad used to suck a peppermint and we'd all sit around his tongue. Hey guys, Jonah here and welcome to day one of the Beer 52 Advent Calendar. I, I'm not sure about the colours, like, I mean, it is an advent calendar. I don't know if you can see there's some numbers and all this kind of jazz on here. There's a lot of pink, a lot of pink. But I guess that's the way the world's going at the moment, kind of, you know, uh, woke type beer. Who knows? But this is day one. And the other thing is, hopefully you heard the intro music, uh, courtesy of a certain Australian guy. Hopefully YouTube haven't banned the music because it was it was quite a long intro, but I hope you liked it anyway. If if the music hasn't come through and they give me a strike or something, I'll probably have to change the intro. But I try to go all out for the intro. <laughs> right, let's dive in. So I think the day one is here, but there's a thing up here that says open first, which I believe is, he says, something that <laughs> doesn't want to come out. My God, this is going to take a bit of a wangling. Oh, is it going to come out through the hole? Oh, I've... Jesus. So, <laughs> destroyed the box a bit, but Let's see what we've got. There we go. It is. Has he got a chip? No, I don't think so. Beer 52. Glass. Drinking glass. If I was being health and safety, elf and safety, in fact, I'd probably give that a rinse. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to go straight from. The, uh, the beer of the day, so let's put that up there. Got some of that for safety as well. I do have a bottle opener just in case. So number one is there underneath the glass. Wow, and it's, oh, it's a can, I can feel it. I don't know if you can see, can you see it right at the back? Ooh. Oh. What I might have to do, come on, come to Jonna. What I might have to do, tip it forward a bit, just so I can get a bit of purchase on that bad boy. Oh, oh I'll tell you why. There's something else on there as well, yeah. This is ah, I know what this is. This will be my magic ticket, Jesus. All right, so those two are done. You, my friend, can go back over there. Wow, okay. So, gonna scratch those off. Let me use, oh, let me use what I've got. So you can go up there for now. Mr. Beer is this beer, double barreled. Whoa. Come on, dude, focus. American Porter, have you heard the one about Brindle Whippet? Brindle Whippet? No. Anyway, that's what the beer is. But can I scratch this off? See what I've won. Everyone's a winner, baby. That's no lie. Have you won a prize? Oh, I think my prize. My prize is 10 pounds off a 
10 pound voucher. So there we go. And what that means is 10 pounds off in the shop. Minimum spend 35 quid. So 35 quid's worth of beers for 25 quid. But I'm gonna have to look into that because I think if I remember rightly, you have to spend over 40 quid to get free delivery. So basically 40 quid's worth of beers for 30 quid. 25% off. That is not bad, actually. Right, so what is this beer? Who? And who is it from? American Porter, 5% on the ABV. Double barreled. So double barreled is the name of the brewery. And there is actually a picture of a whippet on there. So that's going to be quite cool. A 5% porter and it's a 440 can, which is always good in my book. Tell you what, that is not a 440 glass. And I think, I could be wrong, but I think that looks very, very, very similar to last year's glass as well. So I'm going to dig out last year's glass and see if they've done a bit of a sneaky one and kept the same glass. Doesn't really matter, it's a glass, isn't it, at the end of the day? Look at that. Lovely, lovely design. Lots of Christmas sort of nonsense and all that kind of stuff. Let's do it properly. So we got a finger's head on this small glass. And look at that, look at the bubbles on that. Lovely, lovely brown tan cap. Lovely aroma as well. Bit malty, but a little bit yeasty as well. So let me let me have another look at the can. See what we get on there. Uh, suitable for vegans, allergen free. Here we go. Right, so I've got some information. If you can. Uh, Zoom in. There we go. Named for our favourite Brindle Whippet Myrtle. Full-bodied American-style porter loaded with complex malts, uh, chocolate biscuit, nice. Toasty aroma, woofy. Doesn't say what the hops are. But this one is all about malts. But that kind of is what Christmas is all about. Cheers and beers, guys. Oh, yeah, nice chocolatey one, this. So this is a coffee one. This is more a chocolatey one. So we're getting the dark kind of roasty kind of malts going on. But it's like that dark chocolate that people get. It's a little bit of residual sweetness too. So I wouldn't call it full on dark chocolate, but there's a little bit maybe, yeah, dark milk chocolate as opposed to that really gnarly you know proper chocolate as i call it you know the real heavy dark stuff this one's got a little bit of that milky kind of up flavor in there too Ooh, quite well carbonated oh, as you as you all know i am one for the uh, carbonation especially on camera Yeah, lovely chocolate, lovely roastness. Really, really nice way to start. Let's see if we can get some more in there. I'm going to get the whole thing in too, which it looks like I managed to do. We can go for, so let's get the beer 52 out the way of there and we'll get that beer in there. And that's got to be a nice shot with with the box in the background, of course. Put that bad boy up there. I do actually quite like these glasses. 
The only problem is they're very, very small. They're tasting glasses, aren't they? And I guess that means that there's going to be more smaller variety. That one, obviously a 440 can, which is cool, but it means there are going to be some 330s, I guess. Not 100% sure if there are any bottles in there. Well, as you saw, it took a bit of coaxing to get both the glass <laughs> and the first can out of that bad boy. Oh, lovely stuff. So the other package has not arrived yet. So I have to say some people are knocking beer 52, but in this case, I've got a case, 24 beers plus a glass, plus 10 quid free off my next shop. And it arrived on time. <laughs> other companies, beware. I had to pay for shipping uh, and, and their second box hasn't arrived yet. It's almost been a week and I actually paid money for next day delivery and it's almost been a week. Um, so Beer 52, cheers. You have done very, very well. Very good service. The only thing I'm going to watch out for is are there any doubled up beers with ones I've previously had in the year? <laughs> But we'll see. How are we doing for time? 11 minutes. That's that's one of my normal beer reviews, really. Mm. Oh, lovely stuff. Now, if you have liked this video, I'm going to be doing every single one of these beers in the advent calendar. So it's one upload per day, 24 days until Christmas. Um, we'll see how well we get on. Um, and if my other package ever arrives, I'm going to probably start doubling up on my beers too. But I also have another box that's arrived. So that's going to be a separate video. I think I'll do that. Probably going to do that later on today. Um, but yeah, my December Beer 52 box also arrived. Um, and it arrived uh, today, basically the first. So... Yeah, we'll see what that one's all about. But I think that means I'm definitely going to get two boxes in the month of December. Um, but then there's postal strikes. There's all sorts of weird stuff going on in the UK at the moment. So if it doesn't come till after, until January, I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. But yeah, click like, click subscribe, definitely, to see the rest of these beer reviews. And... Um, yeah, I think things are going to get quite merry for the rest of 2022. Um, um, look out for that beer review later on today. <laughs> Cheers and beers, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for, where is it? Let me, let me see. I'm not going to open it yet, but three's there. Oh, two. Oh, there it is. Number two is that one there. I've got no idea exactly what these beers are. I could have looked up um, and seen what these beers are. They've actually shown some of the breweries and some of the beers on, um, on I think it was, was it Facebook or Instagram, whatever. I deliberately didn't try not to look at that. So I know roughly what some of the breweries are, but I don't know exactly what the beers are. Guys, it's been Uncle Jonah, wishing you all a Merry Christmas. Um, and it's the start of an adventure. <laughs> Cheers and beers.